Patrick, great to see you. And thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Well, great to see you, Kate. And welcome to Vancouver Canucks here um, as an official ringside reporter. Uh, very excited to have you, on, have you on the team, Kate. I'm so excited to be here. And honestly, what a better way to jump right in than, than with draft coming up in Nashville. And I'll be working alongside you and your team. So I'm excited to really hit the ground running here. Well, per perfect timing to join the team here and uh, with everything that comes uh, comes up here with a uh, draft and free agency and development camp. And uh, we're going to spend a lot of time together and working close and, and you're going to be uh, uh, inside the room and getting all the information here. So uh, glad to have you on board here uh, with the Canucks. A little bit of pressure, a big job, but uh, definitely something that excited me the most about the opportunity was A, to come back to Canada. Of course, I'm from there, spent some time with Edmonton and then Nashville most recently, which is convenient. I'm here for the draft and ready to go. But uh, I think the chance to immerse myself and to just be around the team, be the pulse of the team and really provide that bridge between the team and what's happening on and off the ice with the fans and give them a unique perspective and give them access like they've never had before. And so I'm truly excited about the opportunity. I've heard fantastic things about Vancouver. I spent some time there in 2010 for the Olympics. Uh, so I'm ready to go, but I will take tips from you on, on the market, on what to do. And a little birdie did tell me that uh, there's some gross grind action at development camp. So I've secretly started running a little bit to work on that. Well, <laughs> that's, uh, I, I guess that, that's a benefit of uh, being part of the Canucks team here that you will see uh, uh, the development staff and the players doing the gross grind uh, to finish up the development camp there. But uh, this is a great market, uh, really passionate hockey fans, and, and I'm sure they they would love the uh, to get to know you more and and your inside scoop from from uh, around the team and and uh, the knowledge you're gonna provide to the to the fans here. Getting into the action here and and talking Canucks hockey. I mean, you guys started the buyout period with a bang, buying out the contract of Oliver Ekman Larson. And first and foremost, how crazy was your phone on Friday? Well, I get busy here. Uh, I'm trying to stay, but you know, I'm trying to stay involved, uh, talking to other teams uh, since since the season ended, uh, trying to get ahead of it and trying to be involved in in the, uh, discussions, what's going around, who who the players are that might be available um, leading up to trades or or free agents, free agent uh, period here. So uh, I got a little bit more busy on Friday. Absolutely. Now, at the end of the season, you did say that your intention was not to use buyouts. So what changed between then and, and last Friday? Well, I, I definitely I, I'm not a big fan of buyouts. Uh, but in this particular case uh, where we are, um, the cap relief uh, uh, for, for next year and, and also gives us a chance of planning moving forward here. Um, you know, the, the, from a hockey perspective and a business perspective, we felt that this was a right move for, uh, for our club. And so now you've got over 7 million in savings just for this upcoming season that gives you more flexibility. Now, what are you looking at doing? It, it clear, it clearly gives us more flexibility here and, and to be active on, on, uh, you know, potential trades or, or, uh, free agent signings here. So, uh, for us, it's, it's more, you know, being wisely about how we spend or spend the money moving forward, um, how to be creative and, and how to improve our hockey team from last year. That's that's the main focus here. Uh, you know, we, we recognize we weren't good enough last year, so we definitely want to have a different look or different uh, uh, additions to our team here. Uh, and, and with this move, uh, it definitely gives us a chance to uh, to dip our toes into the free agent markets and be involved in, in potential trades, as I said. And does any of that flexibility change your draft strategy as, at all? Uh, not really the, the, the draft strategy. I, I think we, we have, uh, you know, the process leading up uh, to, to the final meetings and, and into the next week's draft, we, we still have uh you know uh, the 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 vision that, that we set together and how we looking at different players and and have our list in order. So I wouldn't say that the strategy of picking a player would change. Um, I I will say that uh, probably will uh, probably be more uh, involved in conversations uh, now with the cap uh, flexibility there 
Um, so hopefully that will pick up here uh, even more now um, leading into the week in Nashville. Well, you did mention that you were open to anything and, and that could be potentially moving down, doing something where you just stay where you are in that 11 spot. Has that changed at all? You got a little bit more wiggle room. You kind of alluded to it, um, that, that the phone was open and that you were open to a little bit more. <laughs> well, uh, we're, we're uh, as I said, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, you know, uh, be involved in conversations uh, around the league and, and uh, seeing again what's what's best for us, uh, you know, short term and long term. But uh, definitely, uh, uh, as it is, as it sits right now, we're we're very excited about the potential pick we uh, and potential player we're going to get with uh, pick number 11. And then we go right from draft into development camp and free agency. How do you balance that that timeline of of going to draft and getting right into it? I'm assuming you're juggling all of it kind of at once here. Yeah, it's going to be uh, definitely a, a busy uh, week uh, being in Nashville. A uh, lot of meetings, uh, preparation, um, dealing with with potentially trades, uh, conversations uh, with our. Uh, uh, amateur scout, scouting staff and the pro scouting staff. So, so we will be uh, well prepared and, and uh, you know, we have our, our free agency on the July 1st and then uh, development camp uh, for the next couple of days. So uh, a lot of things here uh, for the Canucks fans to be excited about. One thing you said on day one is that you were here to build a championship team. Now with everything that's gone on, your first full year here, uh, you know, the news of Friday. How do you feel about that? Where do you feel you're at? And and what do you need to do in terms of the work that's left to be done? Well, I, we don't recognize we still have a lot of work to, to be done here. Um, you know, we weren't uh, happy with how we ended or how we played last year. Um, there was some positive signs uh, the last uh, 30 games when, when Rick Tockett came in here and, and uh, putting a structure and, and a plan in how we want to play um, you know, how the, how our mindset going to be moving forward here and, and trying to share the vision with the players so they understand what their practice plans and their practice habits will be. Uh, definitely it needs to be a, a, a change uh, on, on the mindset of the players coming into next year's training camp. Uh, we'll have more competition. There will be some younger players that finish really strong in Abbotsford that going to give uh, the coaching staff and myself some, some hard... Uh, uh, decisions uh, for roster spots there. Um, and I think, again, I, I, you know, Abbotsford, uh, uh, the, the environment down there uh, helped a lot of young players taking taking a big step here. And, and hopefully uh, we continue to, to grow those young players and, and create this uh, uh, com internal competition that the talk uh, wants to have amongst our, our group here. But uh, uh, we're not... Uh, we're not uh, totally finished where we want to be, but we're, we're making, uh, you know, step-by-step uh, step and brick-by-brick brick here and hopefully uh, become a better team uh, once training camp starts. Absolutely. Well, you said it off the top. I will be here and along for the ride. And we shift our attention now to the draft coming up next week. We will be providing lots of coverage and uh, we'll be talking to you once again next week. So thank you again for your time and looking forward to catching up in Nashville. Great, Kate. Looking forward to catch up again with you down in Nashville. And uh, once again, welcome to the Canucks. Thank you.